Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to Cap Tech. With more and more laptops such as the new MacBooks, Chromebooks, Acer Aspires, and the likes being thinner and thinner in manufacturing processes, less likely do they have an Ethernet port attached to them, thus making you rely on Wi-Fi for the primary way to gain internet access. Well, oftentimes you may not be in a spot where internet access is very strong or you even have a wireless option. And so that's why I wanted to show you guys this USB-C hub from ICZI. Now they sent me this hub to kind of test out and play around with. And this is something I would actually recommend to somebody. It's a USB-C style hub, so it has the newest style USB connector. It has three USB 3.0 ports. It has a gigabit Ethernet port attached to it. And it barely weighs anything at all, so it's really easy to store inside your bag or even your pocket, I guess, if you wanted to, and take with you on the go. The USB 3.1 Type-C connector that this has is, is also Thunderbolt 3 compatible, so you can use with like the new MacBooks or even iPad devices there. And it's hot swappable, so you can plug it in, unplug it, you don't have to have drivers for it, you can just plug in and go, and you're ready to start using it. The device itself is USB bus powered, means whenever you plug it into a device, it's going to get the power from the actual device itself, so you don't have to have an external adapter or plug to be able to get power to it. And each of the port has overcurrent protection built in to protect from power surges. The hub is compatible with versions of Windows all the way back to Windows 2000 and forward, compatible with Mac OS and Linux. Although the company does provide a note saying that if you're using Mac OS X 10.10 and above, they want you to contact them in order to be able to get a specific driver to keep the hub from disconnecting when your computer goes into sleep mode. But that's really the only note for exceptions needed for specific operating systems. So that's roughly about it. I'm going to wrap up this review and keep it kind of short. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comment section down below. I will put a link to the product in the video description if you want to go check it out on Amazon. And uh, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And be sure to subscribe for future videos. Thank you guys so much for your time. You have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you later.